In this example, we want to find the limit using L'Hopital's rule. So in order to find the limit of this expression, we need to uh, bring, we need to use natural log and to bring down the 2x plus 1. So the way we can do that, okay, is we can uh, assign this limit some variable. Okay, so I'm going to let y be equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 5, all raised to the 2x plus 1. So then we can go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. Okay, so I have the natural log of 2x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 5, all raised to the 2x plus 1. Okay, so now we can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches infinity of, I can go ahead and bring down the 2x plus 1 using, the natural, using that natural log property. Okay, um, and I guess I should have done a direct substitution first, so let's just to verify that we do get something, uh, we do get an inter indeterminate value. So if we, if we let x go to infinity, um, inside we're going to get, so this is 2x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 5, so they have the same degree, so therefore as x goes to infinity, this is 1, and then you're raising it to the infinity power, so this is 1 to infinity, so this is indeterminate. Okay. So, so then proceeding on, so what we need to do, uh, we need to find the limit of this. Then once we find the limit of this, then we can solve for y, which is the original limit. Okay, so this is where we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so then let's uh, remember that we want to have the, we want to express this, we want to express this in fractional form. So let's go over here. This is going to be the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of 2x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 5. Divided by 1 over. So we can put 2x plus 1 in the denominator. So we can write like uh, we can write it as two, 1 over 2x plus 1. Or in other words, we can write this as 2x plus 1 to the minus 1. Okay. So what we can do is we can, let's expand. Before we take the derivative of the numerator and denominator, let's expand uh, the natural log. So that's natural log of the quotient. We can expand as a difference. Okay, so this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of 2x minus 3 minus the natural log of 2x plus 5. So it's a lot easier to work with this form than with the, uh, with the uh, natural log of the quotient. Okay, so then proceed from here. So now we take, apply L'Hopital's rule, take the derivative of the top and the bottom. So for the top, we're going to get 1 over 2x minus 3 minus 1 over 2x plus 5. And for this one, because I have 1 over, I have 2x minus 3, so I need to, using the chain rule, I need to have 2 there, top. Okay, again, it's 1 over 2x minus 3, take the derivative of the argument. So you get 2 here. Same thing with this one. The derivative of 2x plus 5 is 2. Okay. And then divide by the derivative of 2x plus 1 to the negative 1. That's going to give us minus 2 all divided by 2x plus 1 squared. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so now just going we have to rewrite this using some algebra. So I'm gonna see the best thing here, I'm gonna go ahead and factor out the two actually. So I'll have to carry that with with us. So the two the two that you see in the denominator can be factored out. And then let's see for minus two I can you can also take out let's see. Yeah, I'll just leave that there for now. Okay. So then let's see. So we have two times the limit as x goes to infinity. Um, so let's see. Let's simplify this. Um, so we're going to get 2x plus 5 minus 2x plus 3. Okay. So I'm multiplying. I'm multiplying this side by uh, 2x plus 5. top and bottom and I'm multiplying this one by 2x minus 3 top and bottom. So so all of this is going to have a common common denominator of 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 5. And then we're going to take the denominator and take the reciprocal. So it's going to give us 2x plus 1 squared divided by minus 2. Okay. Okay, so the top part we're going to get in the numerator, we're going to get 8 times 2x plus 1 squared divided by uh, minus 2 times 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 5. Okay. All right, so... So let's go ahead and take the let's if we can go ahead now we can take the limit of this okay so okay so we're going to take the limit as x approaches infinity so since these are this is a rational function so we just need to look at um, we just need to look at the the leading uh, coefficients here because the top part is degree two the bottom in the denominator is degree two. So we're going to look at and take the, the ratio of the leading terms. So the top part is just basically it's 8 times right 4x squared something. Right? 4x squared, I'll go ahead and write it out. 2x plus 1 squared, so that's going to be 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. And then the bottom part we have, this is going to be 4x squared times negative 2, so that's going to be minus 8. So minus 8x squared plus dot, 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 whatever. Like I said, so it doesn't, we don't need to, we just need to see the leading terms, okay? Because we're looking at as, we're looking at the limit as x goes to infinity. Okay, so now, so as x goes to infinity, okay, this part here, this part on the bottom here is going to approach, okay? Um, we're going to look at we have minus sorry we have yeah minus thirty two x squared over minus eight x squared. Actually, it's positive. Okay. Okay. So therefore, this okay. As x approaches infinity, this part is approaching minus four. Okay. Right, because we're taking the ratio, we take the ratio of the leading coefficients. Okay, but then we have a 2 out here. 
So therefore, the limit of this is going to approach right, 2 times negative 4. And that's going to give us negative 8. Okay. However, remember this is not the uh, this is not the limit of the original problem. So we have to go back. Let's go back to the top. Okay. So the limit that we found was here. So okay. So that was giving us negative eight. So we have the natural log y is equal to negative eight. So solving for y, taking e of both sides, you're going to get y equals two e to the negative eight. Or in other words, one over e. One over e to the eighth. So this is our solution.